with this, why I think we're together this morning is a new prophetic wind will awaken at your gate. So God brought us here to awaken that wind for you to carry back, guys, into New Hampshire. Are you to carry back into Connecticut or wherever you are stationed? There's this watchman prophetic wind that's coming alive and coming forward. I can still remember the first word I ever gave in New Hampshire. It was in the uh, cellar of a Baptist church there. Uh, you, You have to know God records those words. And he illuminates them at the right moment. Just as he did for Elijah, when Elijah said it won't rain for three and a half years, at three and a half years, he illuminated the heavens to Elijah and said, now pull it back down. It's time to rain. You're going to find it's time for lots of things to happen in this year ahead. Jody, this is so important for New York. You're going to find there's lots of things to happen that need to happen that we've all been saying need to happen, but it's going to take, and I feel like the Lord has shown me, almost a seven-day worship intercession dimension to pull it down. So... The prophets, there's a shift in the voice of the prophets. We want to do that today. And the prophets could see and say the future. Quit being afraid of the future. Future means expected end. It means something you've never seen happen and you're still watching for. And the watchman will watch after the word to announce the enemy's movement And the timing of God. You're going to have to watch how the enemy is moving in a new way. Especially up here. Especially in New York. And the influence, influencing voices in every state of the original 13 colonies. Watch them. Watch what they're saying. Because that's what has to be counteracted for a nation to come alive again. Now, with that, we're being moved to watch at our gate. Blessed is the person who listens to me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. I took several versions and I made it in there. If you wait and guard the door of my entrances... And long to hear a word every day. Joy will break forth within you and the fountain of life and favor will pour forth around you. The Lord's saying we're coming into a daily type of watching and communication. There's just a couple more things I want to loose over you. See, here's what happens Revelation uncovers, occult hides. So there has to be a revelatory spirit of revelation flowing through these 13 colonies. Doesn't matter what, how the church has tried to run it off up here, the last church. That has nothing to do with anything. That's their problem. I gave a word about that uh, Saturday morning. They've got another year. Then it's their problem. Now, I'm telling you, I know the Lord well enough. That old church system, it ain't ain't going forward. So you don't have to uh, overly entertain uh, anti-spiritual revelation. This year, because that's all coming to an end. We're going to go way beyond that. We're going way beyond that. But, see, 
at the gate, you're contending for his name to be established because every gate has a name imprinted that the spirit world sees. Every gate. So in this year of the gate, and year of the door, you're going to have to go and contend at certain doors that you know are necessary for us to see changed. And you're going to have to know what name you're contending with. This is where the spiritual warfare will be. But you're not warring from down here. You're warring from up there. All right? And so, really what you're contending for at the gate is to reflect the identity of his name at the gate. See, he puts his name on a place of entry. And you're going to certain, some of you might go to the, uh, to the state lines, some of you might go to the state house. I, I don't know where all the Lord's going to tell you. But you're kent contending for his name to be established. And that's where the real war is. The enemy is trying to remove his name in this nation. All right? You, you have to relate the word. Uh you have to relate the word he speaks or illuminates to you. You have to carry that word so you can illuminate it. Uh, the word is not just wisdom. The word produces destiny. See, that's why Paul prayed that they have a spirit of revelation and a spirit of wisdom. Wisdom won't, will tell you how to use the revelation you're gaining. But it takes both. They're, they're two different things. Revelation is uncovering what the enemy's trying to cover over. See, Satan, when he got cast down, he covered over using wealth and sound. That's why they had to stand at the river Ziv and worship. It uncovered the enemy. And uh, with that, you're contending, and you have to have passion at the gate. Now, I love the passion I see in this group. And here's what you're really answering right now at the gate. What does God demand of us, and how will we work with him to see it accomplished? What is he telling you in your field, in your state? What's, ho what's the confederation really look like that's holding back the move of God? If there's ever been a move, there's a thin place, there's a portal that there can be a move again. Now, that's all of New England, people. There's been a move in every one of the states here. Because, see, what you're doing now, and this is what makes it different, you're pulling heaven's breakthrough into the earth realm now. And what that's doing is it's causing everything to come alive that's been seated. And this is really what it looks like. I mean, you're going up through this gate. And you're bringing this glory realm back down at the River Ziv, your River Ziv. And you're saying, wait a minute, we're going to worship with this revelation we have with our state. And what's happened here, and it's going to set this confederation over our state in confusion. And you'll see the confusion. Once you do it. So, here's what I want to leave you with. There's this new Issachar Watchman movement that has begun. I felt it when it started. It's a movement. It's Issachar. They, they understood the stars. See, he named the stars. He birthed the stars. Psalms 33. 
he, 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 31 and 33, it's all through the word of God. The stars will do war for you. That's how Joshua won one of the major battles. He will use the elements this season to work on our behalf. And so it's this new Shamar watchman anointing that he has gathered you together, and that's the mantle Tricia saw that's coming down on you in this territory that will save a nation. Let's stand up. Let's all stand up.